Hey there everyone, thank you so much for clicking to this video. Today we're going to talk about how to actually create a Slack bot. So I'm going to go through Slack and show you a tutorial on how to create that, how to integrate that with make.com and how to possibly integrate that with other tools and why do you actually need one. So if you are uh, working with Slack, you are probably handling quite a lot of different processes inside Slack that are ranging from onboarding messages, uh, flow approvals where you need to approve something, uh, either the clients need to approve something or a document is sent and you are waiting for a client to reply. You need to uh, do some kind of ticketing or manage uh, alerts, uh, different things like that. So there are a bunch of different possibilities where a Slack bot could actually be useful for you. And uh, just uh, so you understand that better, a Slack bot is uh, a, a bot so like uh, the uh, loom bot or the google drive bot uh, that is specific for your own business i call them assistants uh, for my own clients and uh, let me show you a couple of examples here so uh, this uh, example for example is one for approval flows when it comes to uh, cold email uh, management so this client for example manages uh, campaigns for uh, their client called email campaigns and uh, they have a specific slack bot that is set to uh, send a message to the client when a copywriting campaign is finished so the client can approve that and uh, uh, with the with this uh, message the client can directly approve the campaign or ask for review if the client approves approves the campaign uh, the campaign can go through the campaign creation process so the campaign can also be automatically created uh, just by clicking approve for example but we have an additional step where we ask if uh, they want uh, the campaign created or if they click for ask for review uh, the uh, the owner receives a, a message asking to reach out to the client and asking for more feedback about what needs to be changed and things like that so this is very useful for handling these types of communication so all communication related to uh, approval flows another example that i have here is uh, an onboarding message that you can create so uh, every time a new client joins a workspace you can create a message for them and you can send them a message like the following here this is targeted to work called email but you can make the message however you want and uh, uh, however you feel and uh, another additional example here could be for example uh, could be uh, hooking up the slack bot with uh, other tools uh, such as um, uh, voice flow for example where you need to create a more complex flow so in this uh, uh, instance uh, what we created here was a ticketing system for a business so they needed to manage uh, uh, ticketing of missed payments so uh, in this way we were able to create a, um, a, a chatbot that is able to um, be accessed directly through slack to handle different kinds of communication so as you can see the possibilities are quite endless and there's a lot of different things that uh, can be um, can be done here so right now what i want to go through is how to actually create a slack bot and uh, how you can add that to make.com to your own specific account. So first off, I'm gonna start off uh, with this page over here, which is uh, api.slack.com. So you start off with this page. What you uh, see at the top is something called your apps. And here you can actually manage your apps. So what you can do here is click on create new app. Then we're gonna go from scratch and create a uh, flipped it testing assistant. And here you will need to decide in which uh, um, in which uh, uh, workspace uh, this uh, will go to. Keep in mind that you can only create a specific uh, uh, assistant for a specific uh, workspace. Obviously, you can create more different assistant for a workspace, but every assistant is tied to a specific uh, workspace unless you decide to distribute that in a public way. But I don't think that's the case. So we go forward we create we create this and then what we can do right now is uh, we can uh, connect this uh, to um, make.com so let's go through this process now we click on OAuth and permissions 
we clicked uh, we click on uh, scopes we add an OAuth scope we add the chat.write scope so what this does is the assistant will be able to create and send messages there are also other scopes that can be added depending on what you would like your chatbot to do but this is probably the one that you're gonna use most of the time and what we need to do next is click on install to the workspace and we um we will have the slack bot installed to the workspace so if i go over here as you can see we have this uplifted uplifted test assistant that will be added to the workspace now this uh, is added to the general workspace and uh, um, in order to uh, have it in specific channel this needs to be added to specific to specific channel so here for example i have a testing channel what i need to do is i go here i click on integrations i click on add an app and then i add the uplifted testing assist what you can do is also set up an automatic trigger so that every time you create a new channel the uh, the assistant is automatically added and uh, that is for example something that i have for onboarding new client so every time we onboard a new client the client is added to the channel and then the assistant is also added to the channel so you will not have problems uh with that side of things now we'll go inside make.com and we will see how to actually set up the assistant in make.com okay so i created a new scenario inside uh, make.com right now and uh what uh, we will need to do is first off set up the slack here uh set to create a message update the connection and make sure that the connection type that we have is bot and here we will add uplifted testing bot now what we need to do is show advanced settings and we will need to add a client id and client secret so in order to do that first off we need to come back here into the uh, slack api and uh, there's another important thing that we need to do and uh, that is to go into oauth and permissions go into redirect url add a new redirect url and uh, take the following url over here so this uh, will be used to connect uh, slack with make.com so we add the url we save from here because this is very important and every time i forget to do that and i wonder why it doesn't work so remember to save the url over here and then what you can do what you need to do is you need to go here take the client id copy the client id over here and copy the client secret over here so we'll copy it save it and then we'll wait for a message to connect uh, the uplifted testing assistant to um to make allow and then from here we will have the testing assistant bar uh present what we can do right now is we can select a, we can select the channel where the assistant could write something so here for example we select the testing and uh, what we write is uh, testing or the channel. we will run this and uh, as you can see here the uplifted testing assistant works and we set it up the testing for the channel so this was a very quick tutorial on how to uh, how to connect that obviously when you have uh, the chatbot connected to make you can create more complex scenarios such as the onboarding flow that i showed you uh, the approval flows or whatever kind of scenario but if for example you would like to connect that with another different tool and if you'd like to create more complex workflows i suggest you to go to voice flow and uh, um and check for the connection between slack and uh, voice flow this is a little bit more advanced and complex but uh, uh, this is definitely uh, something that uh, can really enhance the, the chatbot that you create and uh, the uh, possibilities that you have with slack so uh, with that with that said uh, this is everything on my tutorial if you want to create uh, your own slack bot and if you want to have specific areas of the business where you would like to use your, your own slack bot please click the link below you can find a call where we can chat together about that and see whether it makes sense or 
which are the processes that uh, where this could be really useful on your side. Hope you have an amazing day. Bye bye.